All right, what's going on, y'all? This takes from Hands in the Dirt, and today we're going to be pulling a lot of this stuff out of the garden, prepping it uh, for fall. So let's get into it. All right, see this? All these cucumbers. It's time to get these out of here. So I'm going to pull them, the roots out. Pull them out by the roots. All right. Go around here to the other side. I got any on this side I need to pull. This one needs to come out of here. Well, that's out by the root. Go ahead and get this one out of here. As you can see, have good roots. And I'll stay away from this over here. But these are the Korean melons, as you can see. I still got melons on here. That one, these, and some small ones. All right, but we'll get these cucumbers out of here. And also this right here, what I had melons on, this is one of the cages, all right? And I've already got the melons off of this, so we're gonna go ahead and take this cage out. Okay. This is gonna be a little bit more complicated. All right, give me one second. My irrigation system is running through these cages and I got them zip tied on, so I got to cut those. Zip ties. Got to get the uh, irrigation system. Got that disconnected. And we'll move this out. Now I got to reconnect the uh, irrigation system. Simple as putting that on and twisting it back that way. That's it. So now, you can see, we got one cage pulled out. And so all of these emitters here we can turn these off by just twisting them like that. And I'll leave the one emitter that's in between these uh, peppers, I'll leave that one on. But uh, all the rest of them, we'll turn those off. All right, let's keep it moving. Come ahead and start. Cutting these, get them off the trellis. Because I weaved uh, some thread to make this trellis, I've cut all the thread loose, but we can reweave that next year. So we can get a lot of this to fall at one time. I was able to harvest one cucumber from the other side. I still got some cutes coming in, but I got to get this stuff out of here. And then uh, I got those uh, cucumber beetles or whatever they are starting to um, drill holes in some of my cutes. So it's time for it to come out anyway. All right, look at that.
right, that's that. Now I gotta get most of this right here. That's on this one. All right, now you can see all of the trellises have been cleaned off. Now these right here, I could actually remove these, but I think I may leave them because I may try to plant some um, Alaskan peas right here and see what they do. So I think that's what I'll do. And then I have two of the round cage trellises still in here because I have a melon here and there. Look at this one, this one's cracking. One here, and then I have a little melon there. I don't know what they're gonna do, but I got time, I'll give them a chance. But now we're gonna come in here and we're going to start to amend the soil a little bit. So this is what we ended up with. This is all the stuff I pulled. All those cucumbers. Okay, so we're gonna be amending the garden with some alfalfa pellets, all right? It has an MPK, I think of like 353, something like that. A lot of trace minerals, and it has a natural growth hormone uh, in it. Also, it's supposed to increase your yield, but I'm gonna just throw some of this in here. And I've been doing this during the season. Some people take it and soak them and and then they take the uh, liquid from it and make like a tea off from it. I just throw it in. And you're supposed to use anywhere from 10 to 12 pounds per um, thousand square feet. Um, but I don't do that, I'm not measuring. I just put it in. When it gets wet, it'll swell up. It almost look like goose poop. And then I'm also gonna come back with some compost and some composted manure also for this garden, prepping it for the fall. All right. All right. You see, we got it all in the garden, in these beds, nice and covered. I won't dig them in or bury them or anything. I'll let the water uh, dissolve them. They'll swell up and then they'll break down. I've been putting them in the garden by most of the, uh, the spring while my plants was growing, planting them around them. And I think uh, it actually helped with, the, with uh, my garden this year. All right, so if you guys have a feed store, Ace Hardware, something like that. Go get you a bag of uh, this uh, alfalfa pellets. I think this is a 40 or 50 pound bag. I think I paid like $15 for it. So go get you one of those. All right, this takes from hands in the dirt. And remember, if you have some seeds, put them in the dirt. <laughs>